Chiquita. Hi, my name is Katie Shea. Hi, my name is Konya. Hello, my name is Phil. And I tell you something. I'm a footballer. I am a footballer. I'm a footballer. I'm a footballer. I'm a footballer. Honey Laces is a place I go every Thursday to play football with my friends and enjoy myself. It's very important to me because I, I feel like I'm a part of the community. It's a group of girls who all share a love for football. A place where you can come and express yourself and play football, get healthy and really just enjoy yourself. It's an opportunity that most inner city kids don't really do that often, especially girls. And they stop doing sports at, when they kind of go to secondary school. In, in my school especially there's a boys team and a girls team and I used to be in the girls team but it's only for year sevens, eights and nines I believe but when even when I was in the team it wasn't quality we had the um, mini bus driver as a coach and um, the boys had a proper like PE teacher so they had professionals teaching them and we just had a mini bus driver who didn't really know what he was doing. I feel like it's important for girls to play football because um, if you haven't got any courage, it's like you face your fears and you kind of overcome like all, all the things that are putting you down. And if, if you really want to play football, if, you, if it's really your passion, then you should follow your heart. And if, if something's holding you back, just push through it, just push through it. If you let things hold you back, then you're going to be letting things hold you back your whole life. And if, if that happens, then you won't become who you, like, who you need to become or who you want to become. I think that it's horrible that like women are not getting paid as much as men because there's the same game, it's just that it's not just like the same gender. They also put the same amount of like teamwork and the same amount of energy and the same amount of anything really. The thrill of the game is like the adrenaline is amazing. It's like, am I gonna win? Am I gonna lose? And it's like, it's it's not the winning that taking part. It's having fun and also trying to win. That's the aim of the game. Played football since I was in primary school, and my dad's a big Liverpool fan, so we always played football together. And then. I was always in football teams in school and then when I came to secondary school I kind of stopped because there wasn't a girls team but then I found Hackney Laces and now I come here every week. When you live in London you communicate with different people every day. Football helps me with that because you meet new people each week and then you guys have to play together so obviously you have to just make friends with people you might not be comfortable with or know them. At school, I feel quite anxious and sometimes I get panic attacks and stuff. So even some of my teachers, I told him I played football because I couldn't go to this um, thing. And then he said like, oh, you play football. And it kind of offended me a bit because like football shouldn't have a face or a name or anything it's just a sport and a thing that anyone can do then when I come to things like football where I'm just passionate about it and I feel empowered then it just all goes away I think that girl should just do that just do what you love and whatever you're happy you're doing so I've been playing football since I was about maybe four or five um, my uncles used to have to take me to a local pitch to play with me. Since then I've just loved football, like, it just, I just take everything out of my mind. I just play and like, all the stress is just gone. But I feel I am more at home at Laces. It's good to have a wide range of friends from different schools. It's because like, instead of talking about our school, you can, you can maybe find out about their school. And it's just good to have other friends from different places. Maybe in the future, maybe 2020, who knows, girls and boys will have mixed football. Because at school we can play together, have a great time, girls and boys, like it doesn't matter like who you are, where you come from, you can play with us. But where where is in football you have to have like just like separate genders, like boys playing boys and girls playing boys. I feel they think boys are more rough than girls, so they might get injured, but I feel some footballers are better than boys, honestly. If you watch a boys match and a girls match, girls are more spaced out, they've got 
like better tactics, worse boys. They're just like arguing on the pitch, like who's get who's get a free kick. You know what I mean? Like it's just so. Okay, like hear someone say girls can't do these things. They're wrong because I'm a girl and I can play football. And there's other girls in like Hackney and London and wherever in the world that can do the same thing as boys. So I feel there's nothing. Girls and boys are the same. They just they just have different genders. They're just basically the same. I find that news is quite free and like, um, quite fun because everyone's involved, everyone listens to you and you have a chance to be yourself. Football makes me feel confident because it makes me feel proud of myself by doing something and accomplishing something that many girls my age can It helped me overcome all the challenges I have done in the past, like bullying, it helped me get through them. No matter their colour or religion or whatever they come from. We're all together as one. It's like having two families. One at home who will always be there for you and another here that will always support you. Community. What is a community? To me, a community is a group of people, not just any type of people, people that appreciate each other for who they really are. It is important to meet people that are other than ethnicities or live in other places because you then you could have a more diverse you know community. Acne is full of crime right now and talking from experience people stab because they don't feel like they're getting that power they don't feel respected enough they don't they people don't look at them enough people don't appreciate them so when they stab they, they do it to try and get that attention they, that's what they want that's what they 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 feel that they need to really be recognized but that's that that's not the path that you should be taking you should be like getting into a sport or you know doing what you love and people will notice you for being yourself but when you do these bad things people don't really notice who you really are they just notice what you've done football is important to me because it really shows that I have power in myself and I can like believe myself and I could excel when I play football when I play football I, I feel free I feel like I'm myself and I feel I feel empowered I'm Katie and I set up Hackney Laces in 2011 as a club that uh, would be based in Hackney that any girl or woman could come play and learn football mm -hmm. because I kept running into girls around my house who said <laughs> do you know where I can play football and then I was like oh I'm gonna look and try to find somewhere and then I couldn't anywhere you train there's so few provisions for women's football. We might get an hour a week here. Other clubs might get an hour a week somewhere else, but the, the reality is we often have to fight to get the space, and then once we get it, we have to fight to keep it, and then once we have it, <laughs> we're fighting to keep people off of it. We want them to have that fight, but at the same time, it's something they should know that we deserve to be here and we belong here, and we have as much right to be here as they do. I hope that there's a generation of female footballers out there regardless of what level or ability they want to play at, they at least had the chance to try it and hopefully liked it. They've totally changed my life. I think in the beginning it was super overwhelming because we hadn't realized how many girls we would have in the beginning. Some of my best memories are with Laces girls and or coaches. I think we have this really strange thing but it's really lovely of a place to belong for all of us. A lot of our coaches say that it's the highlight of their week, seeing the girls, but also being around each other. I was there when Katie started Hackney Laces and she asked me to jump on the bandwagon. Um, we were playing football in a park and we were playing with a bunch of guys. There was a, a young girl who wanted to play with us as well. And she said that there are no girls clubs in the area in Hackney. So Katie ingeniously came up with the idea of creating um, a club so that teenage girls and women could play football. Um, we were traveling all the way to Islington at the time to play so it only made sense to start one up here in this borough. Um, I knew I wanted to coach for Hackney Laces because when I was growing up there was never um, there were there were no girls clubs and I had to play with boys all the time and I know that not all girls are comfortable and confident enough to do that. There's a massive confidence issue. Um, if boys are good or bad at football, they don't care. They're going to play and they're going to play like they are Cristiano Ronaldo. 
but girls are more standoff-ish. They tend to take a step back. If they don't feel they're good enough, they won't play. There are so many more barriers, so many more battles. Training girls is like training boys. Girls and boys are not that much different in that re in certain respects but it's a privilege to be training these girls because there are so few that are actually willing to step out and try to play football because there are so many barriers but girls are very social very talkative they bring a completely different dimension they like to understand why we are doing certain things it's not just let's do it and it's very challenging intellectually and it's great it's it's brilliant Many of our girls didn't know each other before they came and they're walking away like best friends. I've had to ask them, how do you know so and so? And they'll say, oh, it's because of football. And because we're a community football club, we leave the girls and let them talk, socialize, give them that opportunity to interact with one another. And we're not, though obviously we play football, we don't overstress the importance of becoming the greatest footballer ever this is more of a place to relax to get to know people and play football this is the way we bond women having fun or females having fun playing the football looking like women but still being able to play being independent free happy